In this video, we are going to root these cuttings three different ways. We're going to root them in the jars with the air stones. We're going to root them in a jar of water with no air stone. We're going to root them in the cloning box over here with the air pump. So one way to get cuttings is to look for suckers on your plants and here we have a sucker growing right between this leaf node. So we're going to cut this sucker off and we're going to root it. And this is going to make us a new tomato plant. Here are some of the cuttings I took from the garden today from the tomato plants. Make sure that you're picking healthy plants and not sick plants, okay? Because we want to propagate a nice healthy plant. And also make sure that the stem is long enough that when we put it in the cloning box, it has room to reach the water, okay? Here are two methods to promote root growth really quickly in your cuttings. So the first one is economical. Just take two canning jars. You're going to have an air stone that you use in an aquarium with an air line and an air pump up here. Turn the pump on, the air goes through the blue hose down into the water and it circulates it, promotes growth. Much faster than stagnant water. Then over here we have a cloning box, just a plastic container with a lid. It's got some holes in it. You can buy those little pieces of foam or you can buy the box. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and insert the cuttings into the cloning box. So we just stick it into the foam where the slit is, and then this is gonna be below the water. So you wanna make sure you fill your water up enough. Make sure you have enough of this below the water. So we're going to figure out how to make it fit, but it works. I might take this bottom one off so I have more stem to root. Tomatoes are pretty easy to root. Just got to keep the water clean so it doesn't get nasty. And within maybe a week or two, we'll have roots on these and we can plant them outside. You can either plant them in a pot till they get larger or just plant them straight into the ground in the garden. Okay, we have room for one more. Okay, so our cloning box is filled with cuttings. So what we'll do now is we'll insert an air stone or a water pump into the container and we'll turn it on and we'll wait another week or two. Okay, now that we have the box loaded up with cuttings, we wanna make sure and open it and make sure that the stems are actually touching the water level, okay? Okay, there is a third way you can root cuttings, and that's just with water. No air pump. You can just take your cuttings and put them straight into water like this. Okay, so it's only been five days since we put these cuttings in the cloning box. Now let's look at the roots after five days, okay? Look at that growth. 
most of these cuttings are going to get planted today because they have substantial root growth. I think I only see two cuttings in there that do not have root growth and they may not get it. Not all cuttings will root. Okay, so this is pretty good since of all of these cuttings, I only have two that don't have root growth. So I have a lot of new tomato plants today. Okay, so here's the update on the canning jar with just the air stone and the air pump. Okay, now this is five days. Look at the root growth on that. Five days. And look at this beautiful new tomato plant we have that can get planted today. Here's the other one. It also has some root growth on it. See it? Now that bottom part that's dark, don't worry about that. We're just going to plant it. But it has plenty of nice long roots. It can get planted today into the soil. And this is after five days with just the air stone and a canning jar. See? You can make your own plants pretty quickly and cheap. Okay, so this is our third way of cloning tomatoes. And this is just regular faucet water, okay? No air stone, nothing. We just put the cuttings into the water. And this is five days later, we have no growth yet. But we may get some still. It just takes probably another week or two. And keeping them in some clean water will help. Okay, guys, so that's our five-day update on cloning our tomato plants. So today, I'm going to be planting most of all of these cuttings into the garden. You can do this, too. This is really simple, and it would be a great project to do with your kids or grandkids. They love to see stuff like this, and it doesn't take very long for them to get results. So, have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.